Our title today is The Mole. A mole, abbreviated as MOL, a mole represents 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd pieces of something. So this is a human made quantity, human derived quantity uh, based on convenience. Where did this number come from? Well, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, but you can, you can think of this number as being analogous to a dozen. Okay, so how many are in a dozen? Well, we know that there are 12 somethings in a dozen. So a dozen is a convenient quantity to describe 12 of something. So we can have a dozen bagels, we can have a dozen eggs, we can have a dozen donuts, and we all know that a dozen means 12. That is exactly the same with a mole. If we have a mole of something, that means that we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of those things. Okay, now that's a pretty large number. Why would we need to have such a large number in chemistry? Well, basically because atoms and molecules are very tiny. So if we're talking about a quantity of atoms or molecules that we could actually measure or see or hold or manipulate, we need a lot of them. All right, now this number is also known as Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number, named after uh, the Italian physicist chemist Amadeus Avogadro. Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and that is the number of stuff, things, that are in a mole. So this is our basic unit conversion in chemistry. So, to use it as a unit conversion, like uh, there are seven days per week, or 60 seconds per minute, we say that the, the way that we'll see this as a conversion factor is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Per mole. And the other way that we would use this conversion factor uh, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per every one mole. So this is a very useful conversion factor. And again, I'll explain tomorrow night where this number came from. So let's do some problems with this. All right, so we're going to be doing some dimensional analysis here to solve it. So we want to know in this problem how many molecules there are in 0 0.350 moles of glucose, C6H12O6. Okay, and just like in any dimensional analysis problem, we are going to begin with our given over 1. So we are given 0 0.350 moles of C6H12. 12.06, and we're going to put that over 1. And what we're looking for, our unknown, is how many molecules are in this, this many moles, this quantity of glucose. And so we will go back to our conversion factor, which is Avogadro's number, and that tells us 
that we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per mole of C6H12O6. And let's just put it up here too. C6H12O6. So, our moles will cross cancel, leaving us with the unit that we are looking for, which is molecules. So, I would like for you to do this on your calculator right now. Pause and make sure that you get the same answer that I get. I get 2.11 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of C6 H12 O6. So we can go ahead and convert from moles to molecules in this way. Um, so my sig figs, this is a conversion factor, so we assume that this is infinite. So I'm going to base my answer on my unknown here. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's do another problem. It's a little more complicated. Calculate the number of hydrogen atoms. So, not simply atoms, but we're being very specific here. Calculate the number of hydrogen atoms that are in 2.75 moles of glucose. So again, we will start with our given. So we're going to begin with 2. 0.75 moles C6H12O6. I'm going to put that at 1. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to convert moles of glucose to molecules of glucose. And then from after that, after that, we can go from molecules of glucose to the number of hydrogen atoms that are there. So we'll say we've got 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules C6H12O6 per mole of C6H12O6. So my moles will cancel. So now I know how many molecules I have, but I want hydrogen atoms. So I know in order to get to my answer, I'm going to have to have molecules of glucose in my denominator, so I'm just going to write it down. Molecules C C six H twelve O six. Now, how am I going to convert this? I want hydrogen atoms. And from this, I can figure it out. So, H atoms, or I could have said atoms of hydrogen. So, for every one molecule, every one molecule of glucose, how many hydrogen atoms are there? For every one molecule of glucose, how many hydrogen atoms are there? 
12. So there are 12 hydrogen atoms for every one molecule of glucose. So my molecules will cancel, leaving me the unit I'm looking for in the numerator at the end, so I know that I have done this correctly. So, you're going to do this on your calculator right now. We're going to check it in class tomorrow. 2.75 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 12. All right, that's enough for today.